good evening for you. Yes, and yeah, I'm so glad to have you guys here for today's um, English class. And yeah, since today we have three special guests, uh, we're going to have a nice discussion about getting to know Mexico. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> so first, I think I will just um, introduce our speakers today. So maybe we can start from Abby. Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, guys. My name is Abby, Abigail, but I like just Abby. I am 28 years old and I am from Puebla, Mexico. Okay. Nice to meet you, Abby. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, let's get to know Alex. Alex, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, I am Alejandro. You can call me Alex. Uh, I am 21 years old, and I live in Guadalajara, Mexico. So nice to meet you. Guadalajara. 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 Don't worry, bro. It's not going to be your tongue twister. Don't worry. <laughs> it seems a tongue twister. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Alex. And now we have... Daniel here. Hello, Daniel. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Daniel Segura. I live in Leon City and I'm 23 years old. Okay, so hello, Daniel. So basically, our speakers come from different cities. So guys, it's it will be interesting to get to know about their city. Yes, of course, it's very colorful. So, <laughs> okay, so we have this one. Okay, so if you notice, guys, uh, last time we already had uh, the guest from Peru, and now uh -huh. we have the guest from Mexico. Basically, they speak the same language. Well, I, I can say that you, your Spanish is so cool. Uh, well, you, you can try hola. Hola is hello, bienvenidos, welcome a Mexico, to Mexico. So, hola, bienvenidos a Mexico. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, bro, can you repeat it? Bienvenidos a Mexico. How do you say Mexico in Spanish? Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. It's Mexico. like Mexico. 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 <laughs> yeah, we... Mexico. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it's pretty. Uh, our time, like, not very uh, used to with the language. So, yeah. So, first, uh, welcome to Mexico. And here we're going to learn different uh, things about them. So, just let's get into the lesson. Yes. <laughs> so here there are five things that we are going to um, learn. We're going to learn about their food, language, festivals, landmarks, and the last thing, of course, we're going to learn their tongue twister. Tongue twister. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So first, we're going to learn about yeah. How far is Mexico from Indonesia? Okay. As far as as far as five moons away. Five moons. When you pass the Pacific Ocean. Oh, really? Yes, Pacific Ocean is from Indonesia to Mexico is five moons. Oh, and we have uh, the distance is. More than 15,000 kilometers. Yeah, you can imagine how far it is. Okay, so here the next one is about language. So now maybe, um, Alex, could you please tell us about the language in Mexico? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, the official language is Spanish, as we talk. 
but the Mexican government recognized 68 national languages, uh, 63 of which are indigenous, including around 350 dialects of those languages. Maybe uh, you have listened about the Mayan uh, culture or Aztec culture, uh, the Nahuatl language. I don't know if you have ever listened about it. Yeah, Mayan people. I think bro ever <laughs> know about it. Bro, do you know Mayan people? Right? Mayan people. Well, the word that I hear about Mexico is the Aztec people. Oh. Yeah, that's so cool because the Aztec people uh, speak Nahuatl. So, well, it's uh, uh, an indigenous language. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What about uh, others? I think um, maybe, uh, Abby, do you speak other language uh, in, uh, in Mexico other than Spanish? Um, Korean is a no. Sorry, are very happy today. <laughs> um, I you speak Spanish? I know a little bit about the Nahuatl language, mm -hmm. but um, I cannot speak it for fluent. I can't understand it. But. Uh, as I was telling you, I can understand <laughs> this yeah. language. Sure, yeah. sure. So, uh, could you please uh, sing it for us? Sure. Yeah, so, yeah, everyone, please listen to Abby. This is a love song. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it says something about the flowers and how the girl fell in love with the guy you you something like this <laughs> okay you ready i'm ready okay here I we go chiqui llego y sochi chiqui llego y pano yolo pam pan y mi plazotla pam pan y mi plazotla y canu chino yolo Chiqui llego y sochil, chiqui llego y pano yolot, pampani mis la sotla, pampani mis la sotla, y canu chino yolo. Done. Oh, it's a but the language, like, very... Uh, I'm going very... to look at oh, good, good. Thank you. You're welcome, I guys. I the tail of that cat in the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Wow, I think um, the, the language is very, like, different. Sounds very different. Cow! Yeah, it's very different. Cow! Yeah. I have a, a fun fact that Cow. the word chocolate mm -hmm. yeah, comes to Nahuatl uh, language. Cow. Yeah, the, the pronoun Cow in Nahuatl Cow. is chocolate. Ooh. Chocolate. chocolate. So yeah. that's so cool. Oh, so well, if it's in Spanish, it's chocolate. So it's yeah. oh, what is pretty close. In the Italy, it is yeah, <laughs> Be because the chocolate comes to Mexico. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what about yeah. others? Alex, do you speak other language um, in in Mexico other than Spanish? <laughs> or any? Uh, no. I, I don't speak. <laughs> I don't speak uh, at any Bro other is mad. I just know You're Spanish mad. and so Bro equals mad. Nahuatl. Like ch chocolate, that is a, a Nahuatl word. Oh, that's cool. 
what about Daniel? Daniel, do you know any like um, what is it called? The indigenous <laughs> language or any traditional oh, language man. in Mexico? Ow. <coughs> Well, there are um, <clears throat> a culture called uh, Zapotecas. There's, uh, um, they speak Zapoteco and they have a, a few words, but that I actually know about them, not really, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I think that <clears throat> the things that is uh, attractive um, is very yeah, no. from the culture. Seven people. So, thank you guys for oh. explaining to us. And now we're moving on to the next one is the food. Yeah, I think <laughs> this is also the, the interesting things I like about learning other culture is their food. Oh! Bro, why what are you this? screaming? Where is there's the food? <laughs> okay. So basically here, uh, Mexico has a lot of food. That is, uh, I think it's, uh, can be uh, explained by you guys. I think uh, for the first Taco! one. Be... Yeah, Taco! Okay. Taco! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I know the most iconic one. Is that cool? uh, but we still have a lot of them. Oh, what's the little cute? Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> and then did you just say something in Spanish? I think that comes from a show. Potatos. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? Hmm? It's a... It's a oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so maybe uh, for the first one, uh, for the first one, um, Alex, could you please uh, explain about tacos. this food? Maybe, uh, yeah. I want, I want those tacos. <laughs> sure. yeah, I want to eat uh, those tacos. For, for sure. <laughs> Uh, well, as you say, uh, the most popular food in Mexico is tacos. Obviously, you you can taste tacos in uh, many forms that you can imagine with many things, uh, delicious things, and obviously um, with salsa, salsa. So that's so cool. Uh, the the first peak uh there there are tacos with meat yeah. with lemon with sauce and this uh tortilla uh more, more large than the the typical tortilla that we use for for example for the tacos al pastor Yes. So there are different kind of tacos, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about other foods like pelona, or maybe um, Abby ever uh, can, can I explain us about it? Oh, yeah, pelona is a typical dish here in Puebla. Uh, it's the only place where you are going to find it, just Puebla. Oh. It's uh, fried bread, fried bread with lettuce, um, some sour cream. You can add chicken, you can add beef or sometimes pork with onions. No, 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 onion. No, <laughs> I <laughs> and sauce. That's it. It's so easy to prepare. You need to fry the, the, the bread. You cut it. You put the beans, lettuce, meat, sour cream, and sauce. Believe me, it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. I love it. Oh, yeah. Like imagining it already makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, thank you, Abby. And the next uh, food, <laughs> we still have uh, 
elotes is... preparados? Yes. Yeah, is it also from Puebla or maybe uh, others can help to explain it? Because I think it looks like a corn. Yeah. yeah. Corn. It's the corn! <laughs> Those yeah, are everywhere corn. in Mexico. You can find them. Oh, yes. I see. Oh, what's that? I mean, what kind of uh, salsa that is in the... It depends. If you are good with spicy stuff, it's uh, one like a slight, a light one. But if you are really high tolerate for spicy stuff, you get brave and ask for the spicy, spicy one. And yes. your, well, turn, it... your, your face red uh, turns red and it's very hard to... So, yeah, I suggest you, if you ask for them, you better ask for the uh, chili, not spicy one. Oh, I think the spicy yeah. food, Eza and Burhan will love it. You guys like spicy food, right? <laughs> yes, no, I love spicy food. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. But it looks like Mexican, Mexican, like chilies are way more spicier than in oh. India. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Wow, so you guys love spicy food? No. <laughs> no. I love spicy Oh, like in spicy. I love spices. And then well, oh, the next gusta. one we still have. <laughs> no, okay, me gusta. Esa. Okay, Esa. <laughs> oh, it me gusta. <laughs> Cow. Cow. Okay, so the next one, uh, we have this food. Oh, it looks like... Um, what is in the... I am like riding a, a minibus. What is it, guys? Bro, please! What? This one. <laughs> we do not like... Ah, okay. Those are prepared in Puebla, I'm going too. to add some more Ooh. spice. Yeah, it's uh, a mixture of corn. It could be uh, some spice, blue, more spice. Blue corn. Blue corn. Blue corn? That is some more spice. Yes, blue corn. corn. Yes. That, there are also black corn, I pink see. corn, purple <laughs> corn. <laughs> so the corn too. is colorful. I have a question. How you eat it? Um... You can eat it with a mayonnaise, and we I have cheese. News. Try it. Try it in your house. You need to boil them. It. Boil them and then add some mayonnaise. About thousand time. And cheese. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds delicious yeah. and easy. Not very hard. I, mean, <laughs> I still can't find the ingredients there. Mm. Okay, so thank you now for the food, and we move to the festivals. Another San Marcos Fire Independence Day. Yeah, I think the uh, the there are uh, six uh, famous festivals. San Marcos. No, there's another one. What is this? Yeah, that's why we were going to learn. What from. are we? So, maybe, uh, Alex, could you please uh, explain us about El Dia de Muertos? Yeah, sure. Uh, Dia de Muertos is a very typical festival in Mexico, a traditional uh, festival that comes to the Azteca culture, uh, the pre-Hispanic time. And, well, maybe uh, you can watch the Coco movie. I don't know. Oh, Coco. Coco movie inspired by this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's also uh, the film. Uh, but this is a... So... Mm -hmm. uh, so, well... Uh, the Coco movie, uh, Coco, is uh, a, a movie that takes the culture of the movie. <laughs> uh, well, it, 
y we celebrate Día de Muertos on November 1st and November 2. There are two days to to have this celebration. Oh, so it's two uh, next month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no! Well, and in, in these uh, days, we traditional uh, eat a uh, sweet sweet uh, bread that we call pan de muertos. Pan de muertos. Uh, that have uh, its history, and we we eat this pan de muerto with hot chocolate. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks. Uh, it sounds uh, delicious. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish. It is so jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, people will dress up like that and paint their face during the yeah. Dia, uh, Dia de Muertos. Do you guys yeah. also uh, paint your face like that? I want... In my case, you know, I'm a teacher, mm. and uh, I love I love painting my oh. students. So what I do is painting my yes. students and other teachers, <laughs> but not myself. I would not oh, be a scum. <laughs> okay, so as I will, why do you want to be a skeleton? To look cool like this? I would not want to be a skeleton. Oh, you would not want to. Why? Because it's scary? If you die, then you're gonna be a skeleton. Live. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you only get one minute to live. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, or one second. second or one millisecond. Or uh, the one next one is no, no, Independence no, Day. Second. Do you guys know uh, when is the Independence Day of Mexico? I don't know, but it looks like it's become its own country. By someone, maybe Spain, of course. Oh, oh. Yeah. that's cool, bro. The festival is created by Burhan. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, when, when is the Independence Day of Mexico? September 16th. Mm, September 16th. What, uh, what do you do uh, during the law? Yeah, is there any well, like oh shoot. Before the pandemic, we made very big parties. We parties we, we dress up. We I'm going up to like, get a what? No, no, no. It's okay, as I was just talking. We we dress up like you know, very Mexican. <laughs> um we meet with our families. We eat, we prepare lots of food to celebrate that we are free again from the yeah, Spanish right. joke. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That's that's cool. So it can be like a family gathering as well, something like that. You're cool. right. Family gathering is because you come home after the war against the colon colonialism. Something Ooh, yeah. like that. Oh, that's oh, right. That's... <laughs> yeah, and uh, if it's uh, in here, we also uh, prepare for like a competition, right, guys? We do the show. The and now uh, we come to the landmarks before we come to tongue twisters, and uh, we group into the first one. Uh, we're going to learn about the like landmark. Landmark in Guadalajara. So maybe Alex can tell us about it. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, Guadalajara is the city that I live, and mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, one of the most um, important and big series in Mexico. Uh, the three uh, most, the the biggest uh, series in Mexico are. Uh, Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Monterrey. So Guadalajara is the the place of mariachi 
uh, mariachi is a really uh, great um, icon, uh, a Mexican icon in the world. Yeah. And uh, the Jarabe Tapatio. The Jarabe Tapatio is a regional dance, a very popular dance that is the, I think is the most popular dance in that Mexico, that in other place in the world uh, know about Mexico. Oh, so I that's so cool. It, it's so beautiful then. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I think like about this uh, dance, uh, it's only exists in Guadalajara, right? That's... Well, it is um, originally of Guadalajara, but the Jarabe Tapatio is a Mexican dance. So maybe uh, a people from Puebla uh, dance Jarabe Tapatio. <laughs> oh, that's interesting then. So bas just basically it's a, like a Mexican iconic dance for the explanation. And well, we're supposed to be uh, talking about Leon City, but unfortunately Daniel is not uh, here yet. <laughs> so maybe, uh, do you guys like can explain a little about the city or maybe you ever about it? About Leon? Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah. yeah, for example, many Burhan. people from all Mexico have gone there to buy very, very cheap stuff like bags, like uh, shoes. Um, what? Silver jewelry. But it's not the very, You can buy there very cheap Please. stuff. Please, so what is that? Where is. Yeah, Nadia is not here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, so, and. <laughs> Leon, it's, it's a known place because of that. Because you can uh, buy uh, cheap shoes and what else? And about the this one, the church. <laughs> Expiatorio de Leon. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know anything about that. I don't know. If you yeah. know something, Alex. <laughs> well, uh, the, exp the expiatorio, <laughs> the expiatorio de Leon is la is a uh, church, a uh, Catholic so, church. Um, this is a beautiful architecture. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a Catholic church. Yeah, Danielle told me that uh, the the architecture of the church is very beautiful, but unfortunately, I don't have the picture of it. <laughs> so yeah, let's just uh, hopefully next time we can tell them about it. And the next one, they also have the football club. It's very uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah. you guys also like kind of know about the football club and. Yeah, he said that it is also very popular. Yeah, it is one of the... Well, it's, it's a theme of Leon. <laughs> so, uh, like Puebla has uh, this theme. I am flying. Uh, well, I'm flying. I have two teams. Of I'm football. flying, flying, so, flying. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so basically it's just every every city they have their own like football club. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That is a giant thing. Now, uh, yeah, the last one we have Puebla now. So maybe, uh, Abby, could you please tell us more about it? Sure. Well, Puebla, if not as as uh, large or big as Guadalajara is, but we have a lot of things. We have uh, magical towns, as we say here. We have Kutsaran, for example. We have Zacatlán de las Manzanas. Those are places that you are going to find in the, uh, 
how do they I'm thinking, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Nadia is the only way. Let's say it's in Puebla, but not in a center. You need to travel a little, and then you're going to find those places. And they are famous because of the, the culture, the food, the, the places. Mm -hmm. And they are amazing. They are beautiful. They are perfect to visit. But Puebla oh. is amazing. It has a lot of Spanish uh, um, culture, mainly because our language. But if you go to the town center, you're going to feel you are like in Europe or something. Oh, I can see the, the view oh, of the... Europe, not in Mexico. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> yeah, it can be, I think. Yeah, it's very uh, unique. And then, what about in the the second uh, the second place is Quetzalan. Quetzalan. Mm -hmm. There's also Quetzalan is also a magical town. You are mm -hmm. going to find there a lot of grotto, grottos, yeah, pyramids. Uh, antique churches, um, sorry, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful places, to be honest. I have been there just once, but imagine you're like, an, like in the jungle, something like this. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Believe me, it's beautiful. It's a very cheap Love. place to visit. Ah, that's interesting. I have a question. I have a question. Is it in yes. the forest of Mexico you can find jaguars? Jaguars? Is it in the forest of Mexico you can find jaguars? Not in the forest, but in the jungle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why is it so sad? I am a child in the and the last one, okay, guys. So, it, uh, what you've been waiting for the tongue twister, okay? So, actually, for this tongue twisters, I think you guys already know the rules. So, welcome uh, to tongue twister. Our, uh, our guest will, uh, will demonstrate <laughs> to tongue twister. okay? Our guest will, uh, will demonstrate the tongue twisters. <laughs> <and they can. laughs> Can, uh, print, uh, ask one of them, uh, you guys, to pronounce, okay? Okay, okay, so please uh, mute yourself first. Mute yourself first. And... Okay, so... okay, so maybe for the first one, uh, I think Alex uh, can go first, and for the second and the third is... Uh, for Abby. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Alex, uh, could you please uh, give an example? Yeah, sure. Comadre, poco no compro porque el que poco coco come poco con coco compra. Como poco coco como poco coco compro. <laughs> I think I think we can uh, like. Uh, for the exercise, like the sound. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so now, Alex, uh, you can choose uh, uh, one or two uh, people to practice. You can choose Eza, Burhan, or Nadia. Okay, Burhan. <laughs> okay, Burhan. <laughs> you ready? Okay, I think. Uh, okay, Burhan. Compre coco, no compro, porque el coco poco coco come, poco coco compra como poco, coco como poco coco compro, compro. Good, excellent. Okay. Wow, thank you, Burhan. It's you pronounce it quite fast. <laughs> That's yeah, good. I'm better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you still need to work on some uh, yeah, words, actually. A person who eats few coconuts. No, me gusta! I eat 
few coconuts. I buy few coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe Alex, uh, could exactly. you please uh, choose one more person to practice? Yeah, Nadia. <laughs> Yay, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Nadia. Thank you. Yeah, I know it's kind of like uh, very challenging. <laughs> okay, now uh, we come to the second uh, tongue twister. Okay, so, Abby, could you please uh, uh, give the example? Yes, here I go. El bebé bebe bebidas con burbujas. El bebé bebe bebidas con burbujas. 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 So, Abby, please uh, choose uh, maybe two people to practice. Esa. Okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, as a, is it? Do you think it's easy than just go? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. as a. Hello, baby, 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 das con burbujas. Okay, that's good. Good yeah. try. Yeah, that's good try. Okay, now uh, please uh, choose one more person. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Nadia. So try it again, please. Okay, Nadia. Okay, that's good. Let us good try. Yes. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think this one is uh, pretty much uh, like easier than the first, the previous, but. Still. <laughs> okay, the last one. The last one. I think this one is also uh actually it's one word. And yeah. So Abby, could you please give the example? Parangarikutirimikoro. Parangarikutirimikoro. What the heck? <laughs> well it's again, just again. Okay, okay, Parangari. listen. Parangari. Okay, listen one more time, please. Listen, listen. Parangaricutirimikuaro. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Abby, could you please uh, choose Parangaricutirimikuaro. Okay, Burhan. Okay, Burhan. <laughs> okay, Burhan. <laughs> okay, Burhan. <laughs> Parangaricutirimikuaro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You miss... Yeah, could you please repeat one more time, bro? The sun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good try, bro. It's English so long. <laughs> okay, the next one, Abby, please uh, choose one more person. Um, Eva. Okay. Oh. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. I guess. Okay, Eva. Who? Yes. You. Me. Yes. Okay. Param gari kutirim kuaro. Okay, good try, Esa. <laughs> yeah, which one do you think the most, uh, the hardest, guys? The second. The param gari kuaro. Oh, this is. Param gari kutirim kuaro. <laughs> you know what does it mean? It's a name of a town, to the town of Nuevo San Juan. <laughs> so basically, it's the name of a place. Okay, so before we end, then if, do you have any questions so far for Abby and Alex? Yeah, guys, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Or is it everything already clear you learned? New thing. I have a question. Okay, Burhan, go ahead. I got a word on this. I love you, beauty. New Mexico <laughs> is the part of Mexico. Sorry, bro. 
Is New Mexico Are you an Asian country? Oh, no, no, no. New Mexico is a state of United States. And, well, yes. New Mexico uh, have uh, a sheriff board, the board with um, All right, I'm learning. a Mexican state. <laughs> I think it's Chihuahua. What Hi. is Durango giving me? Oh, or Durango. No, 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 Durango. Do you have <laughs> any questions? Before we go, um, Alex, uh, do you have anything to say? Well, this uh, it was a great moment to share with you. Uh, you are really fun, a very fun uh, guy. So that's that's so cool and nice to to share with, hey, with you uh, the and thank you, Nadita, with for for the for the invitation. Yeah, yeah. library. Abby, do you have anything to add or to say? Mm, I think it's all. Thank you for the invitation. It's been a pleasure. Nice to meet you guys. Hope you learn Spanish someday. Um, you have the opportunity. Donde está la biblioteca? My country. The good thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, Donde está la biblioteca? The library is in my city. Where is the library? I need to know. <laughs> so you just uh, learn a new I, word. I just said, where is the library? That's all. Special thanks to Alex and Abby. And hopefully uh, the kids learn a lot of things about Mexico. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, again. And yeah, hope to you to uh, help to have a great bye day. Bye. And yeah, bye bye. Adios. Bye. Bye.